in our mouth uh, at this point in time begin to hand over this habit to the hand of the Holy Spirit uh, shall we just open our mouth uh, and begin to call the Spirit of the living God to have his way in our midst uh, to glorify Jesus once again even as we have come shall we just open our mouth uh, and begin to commit the service into the hands of the Holy Spirit let's tell him to do what only him can do in our midst uh, let's cry and ask the Holy Spirit divine to make this service our service uh, to make the service of our service uh, our service of a uh, encounter our service of encounter our service that will leave us counting our blessings shall we just open our mouth and begin to add the spirit of the living God to do a new thing in our midst this evening even as we have come even as we have commenced this uh, three days of uh, uh, spiritual emphasis in the mighty name of Jesus Christ shall we just open our mouth and begin to tell the spirit of the living God to do what he has never done in our midst before to do what he has never done in our life before in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that at the end of these three days Ah, there will be a mark. There will be an indelible mark. Know that you will be, know, will be living in our lives uh, to, to, as a point of reference, uh, as a point of reference uh, that the Lord indeed visited us uh, in this season, uh, in this season, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Spirit of the Living God. Do it for us, O Lord our God. Do what for only You can do in our lives. Uh, do what only You can do in our midst. Uh, starting from this day, starting from this day, starting from this day, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be your holy name. Shall we just open our mouth at this moment and begin to lift up God's servant, our Father, into God's hand. Let's begin to pray. Add the Lord Almighty, Father, for our sake, O oh God, for our sake, O oh Lord our God, and not to our servant, our precious, and not to our servant, our precious, O oh God. Let your option, O oh Lord our God, let your grace, O oh Lord our God, be seen, O oh Lord our God, through him this evening, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Use it to fulfill your purpose for bringing us again into your house, into your presence. Use it to fulfill your purpose. Let your word come like never before. Let your word come like never before. Let your word come like never before. Let your word find entrance into our hearts in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, our hearts are open, O God. Father, for the entrance of your word through your servant this evening, O God. Let your word come like never before. Let your word come like never before. Let your word come like never before. Send your word through your servant like never before tonight, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mapaka kade kagaha. Mapaka kade kagaha. My Father, my God, we cry tonight, O God, as in all our God. All we need in this service is your word, O God. Let your word come like never before to us, O Lord our God. Lightning our lives, bringing praise and glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Daddy, this is our confidence that when we call you, you will answer us. Thank you, O Lord our God, for answering our prayers. Thank you for, oh Lord my God, doing what only you can do in our means and in our lives tonight. In Jesus' wonderful and precious name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Just begin to lift your hands and worship. Father, you are mine.
thank him for everything. Thank him for the gift of life. Thank him for the joy that flows within you. Thank you for your for the joy of your salvation. Go ahead and appreciate this God. Give him the praise that only him deserves. Father, we give you all the glory. Jesus, precious name, we are afraid. We are, we are in a new month. Praise God. This is September. Another quarter. The last quarter. Praise God. If you if I have a living soul in the house, why not go ahead and say, Father, thank you. Despite the way the enemy plans it for me this year, I am still standing strong. I am still standing firm. I could count my household, you are still complete. None is missing. None is in the prison. None is obstalized. Go ahead and appreciate this God. Why give him all the glory that only he can deserve? Give him the praise from your lips. Thank him God you are grateful. Thank him God that you are grateful tonight. Father, thank you, King of Glory. Despite all the harrow, that he thank you for your sheep. Thank you for the preservation. Thank you for the marvelous provision. Thank you for your miracle. Thank you for the sound health. Thank you for the sound mind. Let I give you all the glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus' name have we prayed. Father, from the first year of September to the last day of this ember month, I will not record any day better than the previous one. I will not record a previous better day than the next day. Every day will be from glory to glory. You know, the word said, our path is like a shining that shines brighter and brighter. Praise God. Father, from the first day of September, see the 31st of December, I will not record a previous better day. Every of my day will be from glory to glory. It will be from grace to grace. My strength will be continually renewed. Prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus' name have we prayed. For I bear the back, the mark of the Lord. Abi, remember, I bear the mark. Therefore, no evil is permitted to trouble me in this month of December, September. Praise God. No evil is permitted to trouble anyone connected on this altar. In this month of September, for me and my household, praise God, if anything happens to anybody, see, in a family, if somebody is sick, everybody in the family is sick, praise God. If anybody is, is hospitalized, there shall be no, there is no love, there is no joy, there is no, no, this joy we think will not be in the family because you don't remember the one in the hospital that is hospitalized. Father, for me and my asshole in this month of September, we bear the mark of the Lord. Any arrow that is being shot, that is flying all around, we will not be a victim. We will not be a victim. Everyone connected on this altar, we will not be a victim. In the mighty name of Jesus, prayer in the mighty name of Jesus, every arrow flying, every arrow flying, every arrow flying on the air, King of glory, none of my household will be a victim. None of my members will be a victim. No body connected to this altar will be a victim. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will not fall victim. We will not fall victim of the evil arrow that is being shot. In the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 102 verse 13. Say, For thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. Who are the Zion? Who are the Zion? Who are the Zion? Father, in this month of September, count me as the one that you have mercy on. Praise God. Praise God. When the mercy of the Lord is upon a man, even though your enemy will be at peace with you, Praise God. Father, cast me among the one you will show mercy in this month. Daddy, cast my family among the one you will show mercy in this month. In the mighty name of Jesus, in this month of September, cast the faith sector as the one you will show mercy upon this month. Daddy, let your mercy speak for us. Let your favor speak for us. In the mighty name of Jesus, in every area of our life, that we will experience you better and better. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your favor continually speak for us as a ministry. Let your favor speak for us as individuals. Let your favor speak for us. Let your mercy speak for us. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your mercy protect me. Let your mercy protect me. Let your mercy protect my household. In this month of September, let your mercy protect us. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, I will pray. He said, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yet the said time is come. I don't know when it's your short time. I don't know when time, well, the time you've, you've decided that, Father, let this time be my set time. Lord, let this time be my set time. Lord, make this September from January to now. King of glory, I want this September. You know, September is like the ninth month that a woman is ready to deliver every good of the land. That in this September, I want to gather. I want to gather every good of this land. I want to gather in this month of September. That the cast me among those who will have mercy. That the favor my family especially. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let my expectations be granted this month. Let my expectations be granted this month. Let my expectations be granted this month. Wherever you are, stand up on your feet, pick up your babies up. It's a serious prayer. Wherever you are, stand up on your feet, carry your babies up. 
Raise your hands and say, Father, I have expectation. If you have a child seated by your side, tap your children and tell them to stand up. Even the little children, let them stand, let them stand, let them stand. Everybody here, stand up. Parents, make sure your eyes are opening and you are seeing your children. Draw them up. Raise your two hands wherever you are. Tell them also to raise their two hands. Come on now. Lord, meet my expectation tonight. Come on now, come on now. My expectation tonight, meet it, oh God. My expectations tonight, meet it, oh God. In Jesus' name, we have declared. Say, my father, my maker, in the line of life, I refuse to be backward. Lift up your two hands. Say, my father, my maker, in the line of life, I refuse to be backward. Open your mouth and make that your prayer. Go ahead. Come on. I refuse to be the tail. I will remain the head. In the name of Jesus. wherever you are lift up your two hands again say father as my hands are raised i refuse to be the tail when there is a prophetic instruction god does not look at your condition in fact your ability to obey a prophetic instruction is what it takes to come out of your condition when Jesus told that man in the book of John chapter 5, rise up and walk, didn't he know he cannot stand? Eh? Say, my father, my maker, my hands are raised. This is the ninth month of the year. I refuse to be the tail. As my hands are raised, raise my head in my life. Raise my head in life. Where I walk, raise my head. Where I live, raise my head. Among my mother's children, raise my head. Among my father's children, raise my head. Among my field, raise my head. Open your mouth and make that your prayer. Ay, 
As I raise my hands, raise my hands, the head of my children. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, in Jesus' name we are praying. Put down your hands. I'm going to take that prophetic instruction again. Please, mother, check your children. Make sure no man, none of them is sitting now. Are you getting what I'm saying now? You want to declare again. Look at this. You don't throw those pain up. You throw it on the ground. Am I communicating here? Your feet is on the ground. Your head is on top. Am I communicating? So anybody that wants to look down on you, looks down. Anyone that wants to look up to you, look up. That is why your identity is not on your leg. Your identity is on your face. Are you understand what I'm saying? Now? Whatever happened to anything on your head is a defect on your life. You don't understand? To be mentally retarded is to be totally terminated. If something affects your eyes that have affected your speed, if something affects your ear, it has affected sound. You can't dance because you can't hear music. See, there, there is a blessing from sound in case you don't know. I want to declare this is the third time. This is September. Something significant must happen in your life. I told God, I said, between um, the first nine days of this month, give me evidence. That you give me 2021. Are you get what I'm saying? So this month is our month of showing forth. Are you getting me now? It's our month of what? Showing forth. But before we will show forth, we have to break out. No matter how cool a baby is in the womb, a time comes, it is called labor time. Labor time is that the child wants to break out. Am I communicating here? Even when a chicken will have to hash, the chicken will have to break out of the shell. They will tell you if a butterfly is becoming uh, from a caterpillar to a butterfly and it wants to come out from the cocoon, they say you don't help it out. It has to break out so that the wings will be strong enough for you to sow. You want to declare. This is the third time you will raise your two hands above your head. Say, my father, my maker, I refuse to serve my mates. My father, my maker, I refuse to be under. Wherever I find myself, from my father's house, I refuse to be under. To be under is to be the beggar. I refuse to be under. I refuse to be the beggar. To be on top is to be the lender. I am going on top. I will be the lender. Open your mouth and make that your prayer in the name of Jesus. I'm going higher. 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 In Jesus' name we are praying. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Number nine is a nine is a number of significance. Praise God. Now I don't know who has this prophecy, but let me declare over your life. Things you have pursued from January to August, 
September, we put it in your hands. People you have desired to meet, September will give you the access to meet them. Now, I don't know who this person, but I declare over your life, your sweat will make sense. Mm. 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 Sweating is a sign when Osha tells you to sit down, move with them, move with them. I decree over your life in the name of Jesus, your sweat will show forth evidences. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Your sweat. Your sweat will produce. I keep telling people, God did not cause man, God caused the ground. God did not lay a curse on a man. He said, man, you will till before you will eat. That means if there is a tilling, there must be eating. So it's, it's, it's not a problem when you are tilling and you are not eating. I want to read a particular scripture. There is an anointing for prayers here. Can I pray for you? I declare, may you not become your own major problem. May you not die and they say you killed yourself. Are you get what I'm saying? <laughs> what do you pray? It's a prayer meeting. This meeting is three loaded. It's our communion service. It's an anointing service. And it's our first day prayer commanding the month. Now, I want you to believe in the things you will begin to say in the next few minutes. Believe it. You see, many of us don't understand the process of manifestation. He said, with the heart, man, believe it. Righteousness. But with the mouth, confession is made to salvation. The word salvation means they miss change. Now, that means if you are thinking of right and you are confessing the wrong, there is no manifestation. So until your confession tallies with your conception, there is no delivery. Am I communicating here? There is something you have conceived in your heart. Until your confession is a reflection of your conception, there is no performance. So there is a manifestation of the conception of your heart when you begin to confess it. Somebody is saying, life hard and your mouth is saying life is good it doesn't work that way your mouth is a publisher of your heart as a printer whatever is in your flash drive or whatever is on your hard disk is what the machine will print out if there is a defect Am I communicating? If there is a defect, if you bring a photocopy and it's 1941 that is there, the printer will not print 1924. So what you present is what is released. I decree over somebody right here. In this meeting today, you will present cases and testimonies will back it up. Amen. Isaiah 37 verse 3. Isaiah 37 verse 3. Come and say, I have received power. Deliver. That's my topic tonight. I receive power to deliver. No woman, look at me. No woman can tell you the color of the baby in the womb. The best machine can tell you is the gender. Even several times we have seen when machine tells you the gender is a boy when you're born a girl. Am I communicating here? In fact, there is a time a woman came and they said, you are eight months, but we don't even know the gender. We don't know that it's man because the teen is hiding. But nobody, now even when gender is revealed, color is not revealed. Am I communicating here? But a time comes, you call it labor. It is painful for you, but it was an, it's an introduction for the child. What are you carrying? Maybe perhaps they have even told you that you are carrying a male. What are you carrying? I'm carrying a male. How does it look like? You don't know. No man lose, knows whether the child looks like the father or the mother as long as the child is in the womb. 
There are people looking at you and they say they don't think you look like an answer. It's because you have not break out. One of the things we are breaking out of this meeting, these three days, somebody will broke out of limitations. What stood against your father will not be able to stand against you. What stood against your mother will not be able to stand against you. What stood, look at me, there are several times what our elder brother did just placed the line you can't cross. Am I communicating here? The error of your elder sister just placed an ever go on your life. The error of your father just placed an embargo on your life. I keep telling people right here, if you have an elder sister that got married or get, had a child outside wedlock, there is every tendency that the rest coming after her that are females will have their children outside wedlock. If your elder sister got married without bride price, there is every tendency that everyone will come and go that to because why? By that act, she just wrote, she just threw a line. And it will take somebody with the tenacity and the tenaciousness we are talking about tonight to break the line. I decree over somebody right here, you are coming out and breaking out from that line. Checking out, you are suffering what your mother suffered. I told somebody one time, I said, Hear this. I told somebody one time, I said, Hear this. A child dies in the compound, or somebody dies in the compound, and nothing is done about it. You see, when you keep quiet over an incident, it means acceptance. Did you hear me? If something that is not good happens and nobody does anything about it, you are simply saying, We accept it. The reason why young people are dying in your family because when the first one died, you say, ah, oh, my she will see coincidence. Whatever you accept, <laughs> you can't correct. Am I communicating? Whatever you accept, you can't correct. I hear God telling me today that ancient curse will be broken out of your life. But hear this. You must choose to come out to get out. There must be a decision to come out for you to get out. If there is no decision to come out, there won't be a way to get out. I want to come out, I will get out. Come on, declare that. Say, I want to come out, I will get out. Come and say, I want to come out, I will get out. Say three times, I want to come out, I will get out. I want to come out. I will get out. I want to come out. I am getting out. Somebody entered where you entered and came out. For the father, you have not come out because you have not decided to come out. There is no dignity in mediocrity. There is no dignity in mediocrity. Smallness is not humility. You can be big and be humble. You can be blessed and yet you are still humble. Am I communicating here? Yes, Isaiah 37 verse 3. There are three things we want to deal with tonight. And they said unto him, Thus saith Ezekiah, This day, is a day of trouble. Say not me. not me. Of rebuke. Say not me. not me. And of blasphemy. Say not me. not me. For the children are come to birth. But there is a problem. There is no strength to bring them forth. I have heard prophecy. But something is stopping them from coming forth. There's somebody today, this week, spiritually, your destiny will be induced for that baby to come out. You don't understand me. The angels are the midwives this week. And all through this month. So when you hear push, please push because there must be a breakout. 
Now, do you know there are people not tired of where they are? I've told you before of a woman that said to me, said, Pastor, I'll be praying for my children. I said, why? He said, they are nice to me. So I've been suffering diabetes for six years. And they have not, they have not left me. See, they have been doing me well. Six years. See, they give me my drugs, 50,000 every month. And I counted the 50,000 every month. It's 600,000 every year. 6,000 times six, 600 times six years. I want to pray for somebody here. Now, I don't know who you are, but I stand on this altar to decree over your life. Whatever wants to harass you and put you down to make you a, a subject of laughter today. I, I, I pray for this man. I don't know where you are. You will not be humiliated by your in-laws. You will not come first and relate and react and live like you came last. Proceeded. Now this is labor room. This is labor. Look at me. No matter whether you gave birth to your child in two minutes or three minutes, pain or shut the baby. Am I communicating? Jesus said it does not matter how long you go through pain. When the baby comes, the joy of the baby covers the days of pain. That means there is about to be a measure of joy that will manifest in September. You will forget whatever happened between January to August. Our praying this month is a pushing prayer. Look at me. Every pregnant woman that hates instruction will embrace destruction. No proud pregnant woman get well during labor. Because why? You are more educated than the midwife. But I say, don't miss any service this month. That's what we call birth position. You don't have, you don't, you don't give birth crossing your leg. But have you not seen people say, that's why I want, that's why I want them. You will die. In the place of labor, submission is what becomes the blessing. If you refuse submission in labor, you will become, you, you, you will become, you, you, you will just become a victim of your stubbornness. You are PhD. He's an auxiliary nurse that became a midwife. He said, push. He said, your English is not even correct. Continue. Am I communicating here? You don't wear your heels. You don't wear your mini. You don't wear your clothes in the labor room. God bless you. What they want is what you must do. If you refuse to obey the instruction, you will embrace the instruction. There is somebody here today. A word will come for you in September that will bring significance to your life. I say, bad position. No? Even the even the midwife might not brush her mouth. You must obey. You hate people from Quara. You hate people from Quara, and the choir, and the midwife is Quarian. You must obey. I hate people that I, I hate. Me. Each time I hear, what's, what's the name of the doctor? His name is Shedrak. I hate Shedrak. But this one, I pray for somebody here. May you not miss your word this month. Yeah, this is every order from God is to put your life in order. Master, when God is ordering you, is to order your life. You might not like the order. Don't stay there. Move this way. 
discharge this person embrace this person i need your august salary i need you to pray for two days i need you to fast for six days when god gives an order is to put your life in order yeah this sir no forget about the difficulty of order embrace the blessing of an ordered life obedience my look as if it reduces you but the blessings of obedience is so lifting and the blessing you can't calculate the strength the time is right the child is there but the strength to produce is not there that is why we are starting up the first day of these spiritual days of emphasis Lord, empower me to deliver. Yeah. Am I communicating, sir? Now, hear this. I just saw something now. I decree over your life. May you not miss your timing. Yeah. Praying for a young man. Nogba. Came to me weeping. Says I was a big boy. Says I mean, I was a big boy. I was a big boy. He was in Germany. I was a big boy. He said, his paper expired. Now, this height expired. He said he was in a, in a, he was in a, in a I think, a, a transaction. The transaction of click, he was, I think this was uh, uh, something about diesel. But it's not like our own kind of diesel. And somebody from, I think somebody from the Philippines and somebody from, they're about to bring the business. And somebody right here in Nigeria that owns a workable, prosperous um, company is about to be the person that will eventually, the account to be used. Everything was said. He said he didn't know what took him out that afternoon. Maybe he wants to go and buy. What he wanted to buy in Nigeria currency, I don't think it's more than 15, um, 1,500. And he went out and he was caught. He checked his paper. It expired two days. So he was making up his mind to go renew it. It's not illegal though. To go renew it. And he was in that place for two weeks. And in that two weeks, they picked his phone. So he couldn't check his phone. When they were through with him, and they gave him his phone, the contact called. From the very first time he entered into the place. Nobody was speaking. Messages were being sent. Nobody was answering. And when he came out, the first thing he went to, he checked it and he called the man. When he told the man what happened, the man said, you didn't tell me you're a criminal. The man didn't wait for any explanation. Now, why did you release me after two weeks? They said, we just needed to monitor you and blah, 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 blah time came baby was there no man to push i declare whoever say you will deliver but you will deliver dead children i decree over your life today your children that means your testimonies will be living testimonies can you read that scripture again now hear this. There is trouble. There is rebuke. There is blasphemy. Then why? The reason why they are rebuking you, the word rebuke simply means people talking to you harshly. Am I communicating now? Now what is trouble? Something stronger than you. Now what is blasphemy? Mockery. I think I, I, I think you said that this year. Serpenta don't reach you. Blasphemy. Never forget a time I was around um, Ijesha, Ijesha Market. Went to visit one of her sisters that used to type there. Then. And a woman came to buy fruit. And they asked her, Ah, have you given birth? She said, Yes. 
And the next question made her cry. Um, uncle. She just said, Kusi. And broke into tears. Everybody saw her pregnant. Who told you they are not expecting you? People see you pray, expect that one day answer will come. Am I communicating here? People see you serve or under this ministry. They know there are answers. They know answer would come. So they are asking questions. But I want to stand on this altar today to decree over your life. When they will ask questions, the, the answers will be testimonies. I said the answers will be testimonies. The Lord is telling me to tell somebody to holler. Say, I am, I want, I want, I'm coming out. I get out. Say, I will come out. I'm getting out. In the name of Jesus. I believe they saw her as normal. They saw the womb developing. And they knew a time will come. So I've not seen for long. She said yes. Um, uncle, so see. Now, do you want to ask questions? Then why? Perhaps there might be complication. But this one here, he said the person does not have strength to push. So, he said you should go and tell the king. Now, this is a prophecy. And they said unto him, Thus said Ezekiah. Now they were talking to this prophet Isaac. Sir, our king said, We should come and tell you. Time has come. Baby is there. But there is no strength. I'm your prophet this week. And I declare over your life. You will break out. <laughs> Stopped your father, stopped your mother, it will not be able to stop you. Now look at me, sir. The two things we are doing today has power. We are eating the food Elijah ate and traveled for 40 days and he was never weak. We are eating the communion table today where people have eaten. And they have testimonies of babies. Life in this place. The lady came to the office and I said to her, I said, the Lord told me, go back, go and take communion. And she said, they do even have communion at home. And there was no communion in my office. They got home miraculously. They found a cop. Who brought the cop? They don't know. Two communion. And the baby boy is the evidence of the communion. And number two, we are, we are engaging the anointing oil. For it shall come to pass on that day. Isaiah, 10, 20, Isaiah, Isaiah 27 by 10. It shall come, it shall happen on that day. That by the reason of the anointing, the yoke shall be be broken or destroyed and the body shall be the body shall be lifted and the yoke shall be what? Because of the anointing. Lady came here with a child that was nothing working in that. The baby was two years old and was still crawling. Two years. Because of a problem in the stomach. Oil was ministered to that child in the tongue. As the oil entered into the stomach of that child, they got home and the child started stooling. And the, the stooling was coming out of that child. And they saw ants. Big ants. Coming out. Red big ant coming out from the stool. And the baby ate that day and didn't pass it out. In two weeks after that encounter, you wouldn't know this was this child. Because the child could now stand and take steps. Yet is nothing empowers a believer like the anointing. For someone here today, the days of weakness have ended in your life. Place a demand on this act. I brought up this scripture because of this ordinance. 
We're taking tonight. Here it is. Who told you you will die the way you are? I had a testimony from a convention at the redemption camp. What was the testimony? A woman came to that meeting blind. Took the communion. Ex the bread. Wash her eyes with the wine. Slept. Woke up. Eyes were opened. The reason why many of us we do spiritual things and they don't work, you don't have faith. When covenant practice becomes a tradition and not a revelation, the blessings are lost. Every kingdom practice you engage, place a demand, there will be a supply. Go and tell the prophet. The time has come. Go and tell the prophet. The time is here. The baby is there. But the power to bring forth is not there. You know there is no problem with you. You know if everything works right, you'll be better than your colleagues in the business. But why are you behind? No power to produce. Oh, yeah, this a, there are mechanisms. When a woman cannot push, does not mean the baby will die. Two things can be involved. You can be induced or you can go through CS. But now, whether it is CS or you have been induced, only thing is this. The baby must be alive. Am I communicating here? Now, do you know what God just has you tell somebody? The struggle is over. Your midwives are here tonight. I said the struggle is over. The last phrase together. For the children are come to bed, and there is no strength. The testimonies have come. I can see them, but there is no strength for them to come. It might be that you have ideas, but no money to carry them out. Watch out September. I am asked by the Lord to test someone that can shout amen tonight. Your desire will not fail. Now, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if I can prophesy to 78 persons here. In September, there will be a delivery of dreams. Your dreams to travel and school abroad will come to pass. In September, I see delivery of dreams. That thing which you have been believing God that you want to start for good this year. I declare and I declare over your life the starting grace is coming upon your life. The children are come to bed. Do you know your EDD? What is EDD mean? Eh? What? Now, expected day of delivery does not mean actual day of delivery. That's not like ADD. It can only be EDD. Because even the EDD, they tell you, they tell you, can be seven days behind or seven days ahead. At least I know small. There was one time they were going, they were coming back. I told them, if you go today, don't come back until you come back with the baby. If you go today, don't come back. If it will take you five years, stay there. All I want is that you must come back with baby. A few hours after that declaration, they came back with that baby. There is no ADD. There is no actual delivery date. So if there is no actual delivery date, you must enforce your EDD. That means
means you will say, Lord, I expect it to happen this week. If expectations go forth, manifestations cannot be denied. So I decree over everyone here, with your EDD, there will be a manifestation. Don't miss this. Don't miss this. Don't miss this. <laughs> Don't miss this. Look at me, sir. So I receive power for delivery. That's the topic tonight. And when delivery comes, mockery dies. Look at me, sir. You don't pray out mockery. Answers terminate mockery. Oh, God, I refuse to be mocked. What you are saying, oh, God, give me children. Where was Penina after Samuel came? Answer me now. Samuel was the termination of mockery in the life of Anna. Yeah, this are, nothing terminates trouble in marriage like results. Yeah, this here. Something is coming upon your hands. One day in this month of September, you will wake up to discover that trouble have ended. Look at me, sir. Troubles come in this life. They say trouble will not end. Am I right? But it's a slap on God for you to deal with one trouble for 10 years. Let trouble come to go primary school. You enter secondary school. That, that the Jews said there is, there is new levels, new devils. But at least you are changing levels. Am I communicating here? Whether you like it or not, the, the, the amount, the rent you pay when you are living in one room is different than the one you are paying now, right? When you are, when you are living in one room self-contained. One room is different from one room self-contained. If a one room self-contained is more valuable than two, than two room and parlor, and you know it that the amount you pay in two bedroom is better is more than the one is, is, is less than the one you are paying in three bedroom am i communicating and the way you are the house rent you are paying in the jeku it more it's not compared with the house rent you will pay in ikoyi The rise of level is the rising of devils. But at least you get to understand the pleasure I have here is enough pressure to put down the head of the enemy. I decree over your life. Levels are changing this month for you. I don't know if I'm talking to someone right there. Look at me. In case you don't know, the pressure as a married man is, is, is stronger than the pressure as a single boy. Those of, I told somebody one time, marriage is like a beautiful castle. Those of them outside is rushing to enter. Those of them inside is true or false. Every troubled marriage, didn't you see the topic of that thing? Why I married this girl? Didn't you see that, that, that advert on Facebook? But yet this, it is sweeter to be married than to be single. Am I communicating here? The expenses of one child is not the same with two, child, two children. No. Am I communicating? When God now give you choppers. And now God now bless you with children that grows every week. Whereby you buy shoes every time. And they are bold enough to say, Daddy, this shoe is tightening me. They will now arrange and say, Let's give it to. <laughs> are you get what I'm saying right here? But well, yeah, this, sir. It is sweet. When the treasure is available, the pressure will not show. I was talking about power. I pray for someone here. 
you'll be doing great things it will not show in your life that means you will not be under pressure and great things will be happening don't i don't know who has this but i decree over your life in the month of september you will do great things without sweat Trouble does not stay forever. Every trouble has an expiring date. Can I tell you something? It is foolishness for a pregnant woman to adjust her clothes because she's pregnant. Do adjust clothes when you are pregnant. Keep them because you will wear them again. When you are pregnant, and all your clothes does not size you. Keep them. Just look for three buluku buluku. Am I communicating? Because at that particular time, your movement is restricted. You don't go everywhere. So nobody will blame you that you are wearing one cloth for five days. Just wear the buluku buluku. Wear it and roll everywhere. So why are you wearing the same clothes for a while? Don't dash out, don't dash out your heels. Keep them. Look for slippers. Am I communicating here? Let them say you have grown too big. Tell them it's for a while. When I am true, you will know it is true. People don't know your prophecy is true. Don't argue when they doubt your prophecy. When God is true, they will know it is true. What God said is truth. But people will not know that the truth about this thing is that you will come out better than you entered. Truth is not revealed until you are true. The manifestation of truth is a process. But when it is true, or when you are true, or God is true, they will know it is truth. Nobody would have believed that Mary was carrying the Son of God. But when Jesus died on the cross, one of the soldiers said, Of a truth, this is the Son of God. Can we deny it today? When Mary was alive, no denomination worshipped her. After she has gone, we know of a truth. This womb carried something special. Trouble. When people blaspheme you, I've told you several times, people say what they see. When what they see changes, what they say will change. Don't fight because, don't fight what they say, fight what they see. The same people that called Sarah Barin was the one that called her Mama Isaac. By the communion today, there will be delivery of great things in your life. <laughs> Four things here, or three things here. Troubles are coming to an end. Yeah. Your rebuke will end. Yeah. And blasphemy will come to an end. Yeah. Who have looked at you and said, with your life, with all this prayer, you think prayer will work? You won't answer. You won't what? Let the answer answer. The next check of your doctor on you, they will know that prayer worked. You don't understand? When the person that is troubling you in that compound and saying you can't, you can't pay your house rent, the day you buy a house and you make him the chairman of the opening committee, especially the person telling you with the way you are going, I don't think you will get married and you will not make a mother of the day of your wedding. Just make sure you give them a position they cannot deny. And when you invite them, don't invite them with card. Invite them with card, wine, and chicken. The person that said you will never be a person in life, was he not around at the dedication service? Abi? He was like greeted outside. That threw you, that took you back to the village because of suit. Abi? Now, is he, was he not here when the baby came? Didn't we give him pack? Didn't he chop? Didn't he snap picture? 
when things change, people go change. Yeah, this whatever they have used to blaspheme God because of your position, God will change it and blasphemy will end. Yeah, this decide to come out, you will get out. That is the emphasis tonight. Say, I'm deciding to come out, I will get out. If there is no decision to come out, there will not be a way to get out. Anyone that desires finds a way. Look at me. It is desire that fuels determination. It is desire. Somebody just broke out now. Stand up on your feet. This is September. First day of the month. I told you, those of you that can fast, you can wait on God in these three days of spiritual emphasis. Please do. Please do what? Do. Can you lay your hand on yourself? See, I refuse to be the enemy of my life. Can you lay your hands on yourself? I know what I'm saying. Say, my father, my maker. I refuse to be the enemy of my life. I refuse to be the stopper of my destiny. Open your mouth and make that your prayer. Ya 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 la baba shada bada ya ya Jesus' name we are praying. Now look at me. I, I want you to say these confessions heavily. I say prayer upon. I want you to say the confession. Say, my father, my maker. My father, in September, I reject troubles. Say, my father, my maker. In September, I reject trouble. I overcome troubles. Open your mouth and make that your prayer in the name of Jesus. In the month of September 2021, I see the spirit of result in this house. I see the spirit of results in this house. In Jesus. 
Jesus' name, we have declared. I'm going to declare this way. Three prayers more, we're going to declare this way. Are you getting me, man? I'm going to declare this way. Say, Father, I break out of trouble. Are you getting me now? By the anointing, I break out of trouble. Hear this. The Bible said, and God spoke to uh, Abraham in Genesis 12. He said, come out of your father's house, of your country. He said three things. Number one, father's house. Number two, kindred. Number three, what? Country. Bring that in now, boy. I, I, I told you what that means is for. We're going, to he we're going to heavily go into that tomorrow. Come and say, I break out. If there is a decision to come out, you will get out. That is our emphasis tonight. I'm deciding to come out. Now, what am I? Now, what is family? Say, come out from your father's house. Father's house, the word father, if you have a father, you have a family. And what is family? Family is brought out from the word familiar. There are people not born by your father. In fact, there is a Yoruba man you can call my family. So why is he my family? He's familiar to you. There's somebody that calls herself or they call themselves Omoya, Omoya, Omoya. A Delta woman, somebody claiming Omo, Omoya Delta. Now, she's shouting Omoya because why? Familiar. My mother knows your mother. Your father knows my father. And several times, you have slept in our house. Several times, we attended the same school. And we relate to God. We have become what? So when he said, leave your father's house, he's talking about leave the familiar aspect of your life. Number two, he said, leave your kindred. Kindred simply means kind. How many of you have kindred in your village? Audition that now. Not everybody, some of you have kindred group. I mean, right? Our, our kindred. Our kindred means our kind. You come right? Our kind. Another, another way they call kindred is age group. Age grade. Now, that means all the men are between 40, um, 15 to 41. Or perhaps we are the 50s. I mean, those people in there are some villages when you get to 50, there is a heavy celebration. No wonder some of them, after that 50 year celebration, they begin to die like cockroach. Because they presented it. And there are many of them, as they want to celebrate 50, they want to make everybody know they are 50. 50 want to show forth, they want to show this, they want so that everybody will know they are 50. And because you came out, you want to be 50, you now go and buy Range Rover Sport. You say, ah, this one don't make money. They don't know that you, you it's on loan. And they kill you. Yeah, this is now, he said, come out from your kind. What are kinds? Singles. Kind. Jobless people. Kind. Believing God for children. Kind. Am I communicating here? Now he said, come out of your kind. The kind you find yourself is not kind from God for God for you. I might find myself at, among the kind of people. That does not mean that is where God wants me to be. Then number three, he talked about come out of your country. What is country? When you remove the last the, the last two words of country, which is who? What do you have? That means where they have counted you with. Or where they have counted you to. Or who they have counted you with. Whose person's list are you? Among the not do well in the family. Like what you don't understand is that people have lists. Or some kind of things in the family. Can we, can we count the list of the ladies that didn't go to school? And they begin to count. Agatha. Awawu. Which one again? Talk to me. Taju. Okoko. Agbe. Eh? Wadi. see two of you. And they begin to count. That is a list. Did you count yourself among them? Counting is not done by you. Counting is done by authorities. 
it is census that counted you and told everyone you are in Nigeria. Am I communicating here? But here this, you are breaking out of that count. And he said to him, come out! If you can come. Abraham did not ask how. He took his wife and took Lot. But at the end of the day, they knew he was out. Sir, they knew what? By the blessings, they knew he was out. So you want to declare, say my father, I break out of trouble. Three prayers of the father. Lord, I break out of trouble tonight. I come out and I break out of trouble. Open your mouth and make that your prayer, whatever you want. I come out of trouble. In Jesus' name, we have declared. Say by the anointing. I break out of rebuke in the name of Jesus. Lay your hands on your body. Say by the anointing. I break out of rebuke. I break out of reproach in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and make that your prayer. Now come on. I come out in the name of Jesus. I'm out. 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 In Jesus' name, we have declared. This is the third one. Say, my father, my name. By the anointing tonight, I come out of blasphemy. Now look at me, sir. My dear. Blasphemy now has to do with what people use when they use your condition to insult God. Now we pray, I carry you reach. It's not about you. It's about God. Let me pray for you, my dear. Father, I use your daughters and everybody here today as a point of contact. May God answer his name. Some, some of you right here looking at me, some people are using your prophecy to mock you. But you said God said. Is that not what they said to David in Psalm chapter 3? David cried in verse 1 and said, how have they increased that trouble me? They have flicked me round about. The next one he said, even they have even gone ahead to say there is no help for me in God. Because they know God help, but they say for me, I'm too bad. My bad luck is too much. Even the God I helped, my neighbor cannot help me. But I declare over your life there. In the presence of your mockers, God will help you. And we declare. Let's decree. Say, Father, by your anointing and the communion tonight, I break out of blasphemy. Now, hear what God just said. I should tell somebody right here. You will not serve your enemies. Yes. 
I will highlight again. I will highlight again. As an elder brother, as an elder sister, by position, by position, you will not beg the people you are better than. You will not confess and beg who came last. Ah, as an Esau, you will not bow before your Jacob. As a man, I say, you will not beg your Ephraim. Look at me, look at me, look at me. In life, in life, resort, resort is what terminate insult. Yes, you know you are the elder brother, but you don't have what the younger has. I have told you here how a man of God said that his elder brother came to him and said, Brother, he said, oh, Brother, why are they coming, brother? He said, Now, mistake. Now, you, now you suppose they're supposed to burn you before they burn me. So I don't come to dinner. No, be now me come today. Come tell you, say you see near me. He said, Now me come tell you, say you see near me. Now you supposed to be my elder brother, but then change him. So I won't change him back. Look at me. Whatever lack I've reduced you to. Share the yadis. I pray for you. Now look, without whatever problem reduced you to. Some of us problem don't reduce us. Call our younger, my elder. Some of us problem don't make us call green, white. I decree over your life. What trouble have reduced you to? You are coming out and breaking out of it this month. You don't understand what I'm saying? Some people have spoken to you that if all things worked right, they can't near you. But they have, they have, they have touched, even touched your nose. And what will you do if you fight back now you lose? Am I coming? Have you heard when someone says, I have no choice? Hear this. When God raises your head, you have choice. Am I communicating here? There was a time in my life. I used to tell you that when I say some certain things, don't get angry. Buy into it. There was a time in my life I wore what I saw. But right now, I wear what I want. Am I communicating? Look at me, sir. Sister, there is nothing people eat I can't afford. If I'm not eating it, I don't like it. Who bought monkey banana before? Look at me. I ate yam burger that it became a delicacy. Now, he just told me because they are the, they are the perpetrators of that evil. And the young man's in the camera. If they offend me, they know to appease me. It's the hamburger and Pepsi. Even the guy on the camera too. Say, Papa, no be angry. Let me give you your thing. I became at, if I don't eat it in a day, I'm not myself. I had no choice. Today you give me, a, you cook soup and I smoke bomo. The soup is not sweet. I was reduced to that. Do you know as I am now? Stew for me is a waste. Concussion is the best. My people know. Just make sure you cook the concussion with Ajinomoto. Sakaro, make it to test. I celebrate not for life. I'm telling you where I'm coming from. So, put that thing. You will know I can eat. Several times when you cook all those to you, the smell it drives me away. Because what? I will tell you that crayfish is better than goat meat. Don't follow my style. I'm telling you where I'm coming from. 
Sika, can I pray for somebody here? Yes, sir. You will have choice in life. Some of you, a breakthrough is coming in September. You will choose where you want to live. Now, now, hear this, hear this. Do you know that where you are living now is not where you want to live? But you have no choice. Do you know the school some of your children are attending now? It's not the school you want them to attend. But you have no choice. There are people crying in marriage now because the man they ended with is not the man they saw. Let me leave that thing. But I declare over your life. Look at me, sir. Look at me, sir. I decide to come out. For everyone deciding to break out. People think you don't know how to dress. If resources are there, am I communicating? Open your two hands. If I can stop. Blasphemy have ended in our lives. So. Somebody will look at you and say, I will do what I want to do, and there's nothing you can do. First thing where you see when they're born. When you are in secondary school, you are in you are in you are in you are in college five. Is it college five now? You are in class five. No, class five, secondary school. You are in class five, SS2. That is when the person entered into GSS one. This was somebody you help in doing primary six assignment. Now you just come out. Marry one who Oloshi. I told you of a woman that said to another woman, I will beat you. I won't fight you. He said, wait till big go beat you day your body. He said, what do you mean? He said, look at you. In this compound, I meet you here 10 years. He said, I don't stay here 6 years. I meet you 10 years. They said, not 10 years. I meet you 6 years. I hear day here 6 years, but you don't day here 10 years. Everybody knows say you never, Bele never come on for your body. But for me, I don't burn three times. They're not there alive for better, better pass you. He said, one day, Belen no fall. Me, they don't, I don't burn. I burn three times. Even though say they don't make them stay alive, but then people know say I feel born. I have seen a younger sister that told an elder sister, tell me why you be sister. Now my skirt you they wear. Now my shoe you they wear. So why will I call, why I call you sister? Blasphemy. Look at me. I don't know why I want I don't know who have rubbished your age. I don't know who have rubbished your efforts. I don't know who have useless your position in the family. But I stand here today and I declare. I'm not challenging you. I terminate. This atmosphere because you are breaking out. Come and say I break out. Hold on, say I break out. You want to declare, say, My father, by the anointing, I break out of blasphemy. Your name will be honored in my life, your name will not be reproached in my life. My father, my maker, in September, by your anointing, your name will be honored in my life. Open your mouth and make that your prayer, whatever you want. I break out. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am a Kosha. Ika paya da 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 da
I break out. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. Stretch forth your hands to what is old. The change in our life for good this month will be quick. The joy of delivery will cover the days of sadness and shame. So by the virtue of what by the virtue of who a woman delivers can cover shame. I have seen delivery of children that restored the dignity of a wife in a family. I have seen the settlement of a daughter that redeemed the, the dignity of her father in the entire family. I decree. This month, as we break out, redemption will manifest. Is our month of showing forth. Some things will show forth. Too. The Lord just told me to tell 79 persons here. I don't know where you are under the coverage of my voice. Between now and the 5th of September, my within now, within the next five days, grace will speak so loud in your life that even the death will hear. Now God is telling me to test somebody right here. A repair will take place before morning. I don't know what this means. A repair will take place before morning. A repair will take place before morning. A repair is taking place before morning. A repair is taking place before morning. God said, you know what God said? She said, God said, because of somebody, I want to come quickly. Yes. The, reason, the reason it took me time to say what I want to say because I needed an explanation of what that meant. And God said, because of what somebody did, what I would have done in November, I want to do in September in your life. Because of what somebody said, what would have happened in 2022 will happen in September for you. You think God cannot do that? He said to Jeremiah, you have seen well. I will hasten my word. That means I will fast forward it. It's supposed to be in three years time, but I will make it happen in three days time. Yes. Yes. I will collapse yes for you. Yes, I, I know I, I know what I've just heard now. Ma, I pray for you, ma. I pray for you, ma. I pray for you, ma. In this month of September, there will be an evidence that prayers are not in vain. Anybody positioned somewhere and they are waiting to say, oh, they are waiting to say, he eh, 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 never pass, he never pass. Uh -huh. Waiting, waiting in men again. Waiting in men again. I decree over your life. Nine days from now, God will tell them that many other things still remain by what you will do. Like somebody here, God is telling me, I should tell you, 
I will change the report to shame who wants you down. What is coming will mock people that sent you out from where they sent you out from. Hear what I hear? Hear what I hear? An answer. An answer. An answer. That will make people that thought they are better than you work for you is coming. Father, I thank you for everyone here. As we are anointed and as we partake in the communion, I declare change of stories in the mighty name of Jesus. Celebrate Jesus, whatever you are. You may be seated. Offerings wherever you are, lift up your offerings right now. Bring that in down. Make up the offerings, raise it up. Lord, I declare, bless these offerings, increase it, give an enviable harvest in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, the Lord told me that we should, un- we should declare this three times. Say, I come out. I get out. So I'm coming out. I get out. So I'm coming out. I get out. I break out in the name of Jesus. Now, the basket will go around you. Just um, you don't need the usher to pass the basket round. Just pass the.